Welcome to Damsel Fly Flower Girls. The beautiful crowns featured in our latest photo shoot were made by Di Shacks and Flowers and Di is with us today to show you how to make one. You'll need two types of floristry wire. This is the heavier 90 gauge for the circular base and 35 gauge is the finer one for wiring on your flowers. You'll also need a roll of floristry tape, all available from floristry shops. You need to know the size of your flower girl's head so that you can make a circular base to fit her. Firstly, hold two sets of the thicker wires together, taping them securely in the middle. Work on this central point first to give you some stability. Then take shorter lengths of the floristry tape so that it's manageable and wrap it round, down and along the wire, stretching as you go. Do that on both sides. Put a bit of shape into the central part first so that it doesn't split. Then shape it round, taking the measurement of the head as your guide. Curve it into a circular shape. Even it out and then wrap it at the ends. Take the ends in securely. Don't worry about being too neat at this stage because you'll be taping over what you do here. You're just making it stable. Wrap and stretch, the tape sticks easily to itself. Then you need some floristry scissors, some bits of greenery from the garden. Here we've got ivy, a variegated and a plain. Some pink carnations. some small spray roses and some gypsophila. Thread the wire like a stitch into the back of a leaf. This is the same with any leaf. Bend the wire down on itself and wrap it round. The carnations are easy. They're quite thick and sturdy at the bottom so simply pierce this thicker area underneath the flower, pull the wire down in the same way as you did with the leaf and wrap round. The roses are done in exactly the same way. The wire goes through the lump under the petals. This is the finer gauge wire that we're using now to wire up the flowers. Pull the wire through Bend it down and wrap it round. For the gypsophila and anything with fine stems, you don't need to pierce them. Use a similar technique, place the wire on the stem, bend it over and then wind it round. Now you need to tape your greenery and your flowers. You don't have to do this but it keeps the moisture in the flowers and your crown will stay fresher for longer. Pull, wind and snap off the tape. If it wants to break just warm it a little bit in your fingers. The easiest way is to twirl the flower whilst holding the tape and wire in your fingers. Get enough pieces ready to go all the way around the crown. You need to work your way round the crown in the direction that suits you. If you're right-handed, it's easier to work clockwise.
Place your first piece onto the ring. You need to keep each piece facing outwards. Don't let them go onto the top and don't let them go onto the inside. Take a little piece of tape and bind your first piece onto the ring. Don't worry about any loose wire sticking out. All the loose pieces will get worked in as you go along. Because each leaf and flower are wired separately, you can tilt them up and down without a problem. They're movable and manageable. Place your next piece just over the base of your last placement, not on top, just at the base of the previous piece. Tape it in, securely wrapping, once again just the small area directly under your fingers. I'm going to add some contrast now with a coloured piece, the pink carnation. Again, just over the base of the last piece and on the outside of the ring. Remember you don't need to tape it all the way down, just enough to keep it on. Work your way round the crown creating a repeating pattern. This is the time that you're glad that you've wired your flowers. You don't get any snapped stems when you're taping them to the crown and you know that you can place them in whichever arrangement you want afterwards. You can move them around, feature some flowers more clearly. Once you've repeated your pattern and gone all the way around, this is how your crown should look. Beautiful and it will stay fresh all day because all the flowers are taped and the moisture is retained inside. 